Welcome back to Windy Harbor Golf Club. Working with John Fine, head golf professional out here. On now, a shot that you're gonna need when the wind comes up and you play this golf course. How about the punch shot with your wedge? Pay attention to this tip. Okay, so we're on our 18th hole at Windy Harbor. It's about a 99 yards away from the, from the flag. And like it always is at Windy Harbor, it's windy. There's a little breeze in my face. You may not see the flag blowing, but right here we could feel it because there's no trees really surrounding us. So we have to hit a little bit of a trick shot. We're going to hit a punch shot. And the reason we're going to hit a punch shot is because if you get it up in the air, the wind might knock it down. It may come up short into the bunker. So we're going to try and control the flight of the ball. And the way we're going to do that is, is we're actually going to take one less club. I'm using a pitching wedge from 99 yards. I might normally use a sand wedge. I'm going to play the ball back in my stance. And when I swing through, I'm going to try and maintain that club head angle so that you're almost de-lofting the club. So you come through and you're going to sort of exaggerate the hold through the shot and you're going to punch it and that's going to shoot the ball at a much lower trajectory. Okay, Doing the same thing, I'm going to pick a spot in front of the hole. I've got this leaf. Can't touch it, that's illegal. I'm going to aim the club at the leaf. I'm going to then take my stance and then I'm going to take a little bit of a shorter swing and hold that angle down at the bottom. Nice little punch right under the wind. That's how you do it. That's how you do it right there. Hit that punch wedge shot as you see John Fine. Hey, what a great teaching lesson that he's given us this show. He's at Windy Harbor. This golf course is in perfect shape. Civilians are welcome to come out, and you can't beat the rates. Doesn't get any better than that. Stick with us. You're watching Golfers Guide TV. He played on more than 2,000 golf courses, traveled over 10 million miles entertaining our troops, and palled around with the presidents. The World Golf Hall of Fame presents Bob Hope, Shanks for the Memory. See hundreds of vintage photos, rare video, and more than 400 Bob Hope artifacts on display. Visit the hall at World Golf Village in historic St. Augustine, Florida, and learn about the entertainer who helped shape the game with his humor and passion. If you love golf and my friend Bob Hope, you've got to go. Welcome back to Windy Harbor Golf Club. We are working with John Fine, head golf professional out here. And now we're going to work it up and switch it up a little bit that's going to help you for this golf course and the weather that's coming up. When the wind picks up, you need to have this shot in your bag, and that is the stinger and the punch shot. John's going to show you how to do it. So we're on the 15th hole at Windy Harbor, about a 360, 70 yard hole, but an interesting hole because we have hammock of woods on the right, we've got tree line down the left, and we always have wind at Windy Harbor. So we're going to try and hit a knockdown or a stinger driver, not unlike Tiger hits a stinger two iron. And the way we do that is we don't put the ball too much back in our stance because that sometimes opens the face, especially with a driver. But we're going to take a little bit of a shorter backswing, and we're going to try and hold that face through the hitting area a little longer, okay? And that's going to control the face so we control that trajectory. A lot of times I watch amateurs when they're hitting this shot, you know, they'll sometimes scoop it, which opens the club face, it goes to the right, or they'll sometimes try and shut it down. Do you see any loft on that driver? That's not a stinger, that's a digger. So we're going to, we're going to align the uh, hole, the shot, just like every other shot. We're going to put the club behind the ball, make sure we got it aimed where we want. We're then going to take our stance. Remember, it's a little bit of a shorter backswing, so we're going to give up a little distance, but that's okay because we're trying to control the shot. Okay? So we line it up, take our stance, little shorter backswing, and see how I'm holding the finish trying to control the club face through the golf shot. I don't turn through it as much because that might open the club face a little bit. More flat-footed, sort of a la Duffy Waldorf if you're a tour fan. And we hold that finish and abbreviate it. Punch, stinger, driver. 
All right, great tip there by John Fine. How to hit that stinger, that low shot into the wind. Now we have more here coming up at Windy Harbor Golf Club. Stick with us. Hey golfers, it's almost time for one of the biggest events in the golf world, the 2009 Hall of Fame induction ceremony. And you need to be there. Golfers Guide TV wants to send you in VIP style. Enter our contest at golfersguidetv.com. You and a friend can play in the induction day tournament Enjoy the ceremony from the VIP seats and mingle with the Hall of Famers at the private after party. Enter at golfersguidetv.com.